Early secondary chemistry courses often include the fire triangle as a context for oxidation reactions. Students learn that to keep a fire burning, a ready supply of fuel and oxidant is required as well as heat. Remove any of these and the fire goes out. It's important to choose the right strategy for the right fire because, as we've seen before, even a CO2 fire extinguisher won't put out a metal fire. One of the most popular demonstrations in this topic is the chip pan fire, in which the use of water in an attempt to cool the fire gives an unexpected and potentially very dangerous result. You'll need to use a nickel, not a ceramic, crucible for this demonstration. Look for a taller rather than a squatter one to avoid burning fat being thrown out to the sides. Ensure that there are no light fittings or objects hanging from the ceiling above in the location in which you're working. Cover the desk with heat resistant mats and set up a Bunsen burner and pipe clay triangle. The nickel crucible should fit snugly in the pipe clay triangle and the ends of the triangle's wires should be bent around the frame of the tripod to secure it in position so that when the flame is later smothered, the crucible doesn't tip. A test tube containing water will be needed for the attempt to extinguish the fire. You'll want this attached to a meter rule using a test tube holder with a good grip, such as a wooden peg type style. Place 3 cm cubed of the cooking oil into the crucible, light the Bunsen and open the air hole. After a few minutes the oil will ignite. Turn off the Bunsen at the gas tap. At this point you can put on heat resistant gloves and show that the fire can simply be extinguished by placing a piece of aluminium over the crucible to smother the flames. It can be interesting to show that if the oil has remained above the auto ignition temperature, it will reignite if oxygen is reintroduced. To show the effect of adding water, the oil can be relit by lighting the Bunsen once more until the oil catches fire. Turn off the Bunsen at the gas tap again and at arm's length and using the full length of the meter rule, add the water from the test tube to the crucible. The fireball will be ejected and rise approximately one meter above the crucible. Once you're done, all equipment including the triangle and tripod should be washed with washing up liquid and dried. Further information about this and other demonstrations as well as supporting materials can be downloaded for free from the EIC website. Mm -hmm.